So what we do is when we go to Guatemala or wherever we go, we collect the specimens. And these are all collected at, uh, at lights, like a porch light type of thing. But we take a light and a generator out someplace in the jungle and set it up and then just sit there and let the insects come in. So we just layer them all in here. So you know this is how they all come back. The block will fit a certain size of moth. And there are many, many ways to, to pin insects, especially butterflies and moths. And certain people use certain techniques. This is a technique that I've used for years. And then it'll stay just like that as long as we take care of it. It'll maintain its color as long as we don't let it sit in the sun or, or bright lights. And if, as long as we don't bump it and stuff, it, it shouldn't break at all. So then the next step to be, would be to label that to where it uh, where it's from, the date and all, and then we take it down to the collection and try to figure out what it is. They get put into certain cabinets. So we looked up there at butterflies and moths. These are all beetles and other insects all from Guatemala. And so it'll sit here until uh, we sort it. If we can sort it to species, it goes into the collection proper. So the Guatemala project's been, we're in the fourth year now. If we can just sort it to what we would call a family group, then it gets recorded, everything gets recorded in the database. So then this would be the final stage where this material, this is all Guatemalan material, has been identified to species. So either I identified it, one of my colleagues identified it, or we've actually gone to some place like the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. and compared our material with their material to identify it. So this has all been identified to species and it's in the database. And the database is what's available to literally anybody around the world that wants to look to see what we have that they might be studying that we would then, uh, usually we would send that through the mail, send those specimens to them.